Hello, hello, it's Dumplet here. Welcome to part 4 of 25 of the College Entrance Test Review. Credits to the Review Masters for providing me with these items. To continue, which of the following fractions has the smallest value? So we have 7 fourths, 8 fifths, 27 over 20, and 67 over 20. Now the easiest way to compare with these is to multiply it by the LCD. Now note how 4, 5, 20, and 60 their LCM is 60. So we can multiply 60 to all of these four, and I will end up with a whole number which can easily compare. Now, for 7 fourths times 60, you can cancel the 4 and the 60. So it's going to become 4 divided, the, 4 divided by 4 is 1, 60 divided by 4 is 15. So I'm going to compare 7 times 15, which is, you can work out the maths, this is equal to 105. For 8 fifths times 60, I can cancel the 5 and the 60. So 5 divided by 5 is 1, 60 divided by 5 is 12, so I'm going to do 8 times 12, and this is equal to, you can do the maths, it's going to equal 96. 27 over 20 times 60, so 20, 60, I can make it 1 and 3. After cancellation, so 27 times 3, and this is going to give us 81. And then lastly, we can directly cancel 60, and this gives us 67. So we can now easily compare 105, 96, 81, and 67. Obviously, 105 is the largest. Therefore, whoops, sorry, we asked for the smallest. Since 67 is the smallest, we're going to answer answer D. For item 14, look how we can write it as follows. And this is just a basic cancellation exercise. This 5 will cancel with this 5. This 7 will cancel with this 7. This 9 will cancel with this 9. So all we're left is just 3 divided by 11. Very simple. We have answer A. For problem 15, note how you're given question mark over 32 equals 0 0.875. Now, you can try to memorize that 0 0.125 is 1 8, 0 0.25 is 2 8, and so on. And then 0 0.875 is equal to 7 8, which is uh, got to be logical. And we're just, we're, we just have to solve question mark over 32 equals 7 over 8. And then this is just a um, simple algebra. We can conclude that the question mark here must be 28, giving us the answer of D. But alternatively, we can do the following. Notice how choice C is 24. Now, if we try to get 24 divided by 32, uh, we can reduce this fraction into lowest terms. We can divide uh, both the numerator and the denominator by 8, and this is equal to 3 fourths. Now, 3 fourths, we know, is a very, um, very common decimal representation. This is equal to 0.75. Now, 0.75, well, this is obviously less than 0 0.875, which is the required value. So we know that 24 is not the answer. Now, what's more interesting is that since 24 is not the answer, 18 and 16 are not as well. Since 24 over 32 is smaller than 0 0.875. That immediately cancels uh, choices before it because 18 and 16, they are both less than 24. So either by using the fact that you know that this is equal to 7 eighths or just by, or just by uh, the, elimination, the elimination of some choices, we can conclude the answer is 28. For item 16, 4 fifths plus 1 half plus 3 over x equals 41 over 20. What is the value of x? Now, instead of solving directly for x, which you can do, uh, we can try to do another approach. So we have four choices here. So let's try each of them. If x equals 4, then 3 over x is 3 fourths. So 3 over x can be written as 3 fourths. And we can check the LCM of the denominators, 5, 2, and 4. Does it equal 20 over here? Well, it does. So, so far, we can see that uh, a equals uh, choice A is a viable option. Now, let's try to see, what about b equals 5? If b equals, uh, if, sorry, if it's choice b, where x equals 5, the LCD of 5, 2, and 5, however, is only 10. So, since this is equal to 41 over 20, which, is, which has a denominator of 20, we can conclude the answer is not 5. Because, by checking the LCD, it doesn't match. Let's try to check 6. Let's try to check 6. So 3 over 6, I can actually put this in simplest terms. 
it's actually one half. So we're left to check LCD of these three fractions. 5, 2, and 2, they have an LCM of 10, again, which is not equal to 20. So we can once again cross out C. So we have to check choice D, 7. So let's check 3 over 7. Well, the LCD of 5, 2, and 7, it's 70. Again, it's not equal to 20, so just by the LCD or the LCM of the denominators checked, we can already conclude that the answer is not D as well. Therefore, we have only one choice left, which is 4. Now, just to verify our answer, just to check if this is correct, let's try to get these three. The LCD of these three terms is 20. I can rewrite it as follows. 4 fifths becomes 16 over 20. 1 half becomes 10 over 20. 3 fourths becomes 15 over 20. Then we're just going to add these three. 16 plus 10, that's 26. We add 15, and that's indeed equal to 41 over 20. So whatever method we use, either solving for x substitution or just using the elimination of choices method, we can arrive at the answer that, a equals, uh, that x equals 4. Hence, we choose choice A. Hopefully, you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in part 5. Bye-bye!